John Fink here from GameRageQ. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install PKTJ, the free game store for the PS Vita. So what we're going to need to do first is start our Vita shell, or you can use molecular shell, either way, as long as you can start an FTP connection to your PS Vita. So to make sure we can do this, we're going to hit start. We're going to scroll down. Mine is already set to FTPs. If yours is set to USB, hit the X button, and then hit the start button again. And hit select. As you can already see, my IP is 192.168.1.150, and the, the port is still 1337. This is just the IP that was assigned to my Vita from the router. Your IP may be different. Once we have the FTP server set up, we're going to go to the computer and we're going to download a couple files. Okay, once we have our FTP server set up, we need to download a couple files. And start the first and foremost is the PKGJ VPK, as well as the ITLS Enzo, which is going to give our root certifications so we can actually use uh, PKGJ. I've already downloaded these two files. I'm going to include the links in the description. The version you're wanting to download it now, right now is version 0.52 or the most current version after this video has been released. Uh, the root certifications probably won't go through too much more updates, uh, but you're going to want the latest version of that as well. The version currently is 3.1. Once we've got those downloaded, we're going to start our FTP client. Uh, you might use a different one than I. It doesn't matter. Uh, I've already got my credentials set up in here. So basically, you just put in the port number or the IP number that it says on the screen of your PSP, uh, PS Vita, and the port number, and you click login. It's going to ask you for a username and password, but you can just bypass this by clicking OK. So we're going to want to navigate to where we want to store our VPK files. I actually have a directory under my uh, UX0 called VPK and I've already actually copied these files over but I'm going to show you how to copy them over again since I already have them I'm going to click yes to overwrite and once we've downloaded the uploaded the files to our PS Vita we can close out of our FTP client and go back to our Vita now we're going to go ahead and hit circle to exit out of FTP mode we're going to scroll down to where we see the ITLS we're going to click X to install, it's going to ask for more permissions. You're going to hit X again. Once again, you need to remember to have unsafe homebrew installed or enabled before you can install these app, uh, packages. This package is going to take a second. Then we're going to scroll down to PKGJ, and we're going to do the same. Now, it doesn't take too long for them to install. They're pretty small packages. Okay, now that we have our packages installed, we're going to close out of Vita Shell. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go to ITLS certifications, and we're going to click OK, and we're going to load it. As you can see here, we want to install the full ITLS package. That's going to include the root certifications and uh, the plugins and stuff. Okay, once we've done that, we probably should reboot our system so the root certifications can take effect. We go to start, go to settings. Okay, settings doesn't want to go there, so we'll just power off the hard way. Sometimes when you run PKGJ, it gets, uh, I mean not PKGJ, sometimes when you run Vita Shell, it wants to act stupid, uh, with your settings. So we'll just reboot the hard way, come back up. This process will take just a second. Okay, we'll come back over here, scroll back down, and start PKGJ. All right. Now you can hit triangle, you can filter out a bunch of different things like uh, regions that it was copied from or regions that it came from you can show dlcs just ps vita games the psv vita dlcs show psv demos themes you can also show psx games psp games and dlcs now if i want to just show if you install psp games and you have adrenaline installed it'll automatically show up in your adrenaline installation i presume the same thing is true for psx games uh, i have yet to try that uh, but when you go to select a game, we'll just select 
Amen. I don't know what that is. It'll give you a menu like this, and you can click X to install the game. It'll tell you if your firmware is out of date and needs to be updated to do that. It'll tell you it's going to install to the live area. So what happens is when you come out of here, you're going to see that you have a new game downloading and installing. So these, as you see, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you like what you saw, like, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. As for me, I'm out of here.